What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. And today, as you can see, we are looking at the Cybertruck and the new Dodge Ram TRX. All right, so these two vehicles are really, really in competition with each, each, with each other, whether they like it or not. Um, pretty sure they're aware of each other. Uh, the Cybertruck came out with their stats first and Ram TRX really has been in the making since I think about 2014 They've had it in they've released the rebel They released the regular Ram and Ram as you can see from here his um, In the last few years have been has been very very impressive with their ride and their technology uh, It's just a, a, a company that's really pushed forward the truck market in in a really cool direction okay now as you can see here ooh, quite good um there's a few things that i would say about the stallion it's really reminiscent of the uh of the dodge of the uh, ford raptor right here with these lights you can see right here um i like those lights those lights are actually pretty cool i think that they they good, did a good job um putting those lights up high up right there Looks kind of like a copycat, but it needs these lights and also these side markers right here and here to um, because of the width of the vehicle. The width the vehicle is very, 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 very wide, so it, it actually needs all this to um, to you know obey the law. Now, I was uh, talking about the uh, the the uh, technology that they put in this vehicle. Uh, you can see from here from these uh from these pictures right here that the interior of the TRX is very re reminiscent of Tesla's technology. That gigantic screen can do quite a lot. And for people who don't like to touch the screen, there are buttons and ergonomic features in this car that you know you don't have to sacrifice too much and be so minimalist as the Cybertruck. Now, Cybertruck is quite uh minimalist very very you know tesla all their vehicles are very spartan they have um not much of an interior uh to speak of however uh i like i like i like that style that in the in today's economy and in today's just mentality and style it's good to be more reserved and this design kind of portrays that and of course it's emissions free right now, but for this vehicle, it just came out a couple days ago. The interior is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, maybe some might say this is a bit too much, but you can always take out that red and just have it all black or whatever other colors they have available. Um, but the thing to take notice on this truck are the stats, okay? 702 horsepower, you can see right here, uh, right there, 702 horsepower and 650 pounds feet of torque zero to 60 is happening in 4.5 seconds okay now if, I, if we hop over to Cybertruck okay you can see that their stats on this vehicle are very close it's got zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds right here um, and if you hop onto the website you'll be able to see that the um, the top speed of the Ram is 118 miles an hour so it, it has a very good top speed but their 0 to 60 for a ice internal combustion engine is very, very good. The quarter mile is happening in 12.9 seconds and you don't have to worry about charging. However, the Cybertruck doesn't have an internal combustion engine. It doesn't have lag. It, it, it doesn't have a lot of the uh, problems that you will have if you come to owning a regular combustion engine, okay? The horsepower, 690 horsepower. I'm going with the dual motor, okay? 690 horsepower, zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. And if you look right here, the speed they're claiming right here is 120 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour right there. You can see that right there, right? This is what they're claiming that it's going to be. It may be better, we'll have to find out. But the, the, main, the main thing that people are going to be looking at apart from all of what I just told you is going to be price. Now, um, the Ram, this TRX is going to be starting at seventy thousand dollars. Now, at seventy thousand dollars, if you're getting if you're getting this vehicle, and if you're if you're specking it out all the way, it can go as as high as ninety thousand dollars. Now, that's 
out of the of the Cybertruck's price range. Now, at that point, you're at a whole other level of luxury, of um, of specs. You can pass a hundred thousand dollar mark with this vehicle, basically. You know, you can carry a third, a, a, a fifth wheel. There's a lot happening with this vehicle. There's a lot happening. If you were going to get that vehicle, if you were going to get the Cybertruck to, in comparison, you would have to get a um, the, the full-on tri-motor vehicle that does 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and tows 14,000 pounds, where the TRX tows 8,000 pounds. So for me, I believe the uh, TRX, I don't know if they're going to be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be produced in large numbers, but... It's gonna be the, really the market for this vehicle. I feel like are people who are waiting to experience the Cybertruck or diehard Dodge owners who do not even see the Cybertruck as an option. They don't have time for charging. They just want a, a fun vehicle that they can, um, they can hear the engine roar. They want the creature comforts. They don't want a, um, an empty interior. And they just, they're just not into Tesla at all. You know, they're, they're just not into, the, into that style of vehicle. So. The styling, as you can see, very, very cool, right? And um, there's parts of this styling that I don't like. For instance, um, this right here and this right here. And I, I wish that that was basically all blacked out. This section right here was all blacked out. That would be that would be much nicer, in my opinion, um, like their power wagon that they have. But this um, this this style is sort of like the uh, rebel it, it, it sort of looks like it's wearing sunglasses if you, if you ask me this whole section right here this whole deal right here is not really um but however the it, it is a very cool vehicle okay uh the accessories really cool i mean those those kc lights up top i'm not sure if they're kc lights but they look cool um the width of the vehicle very nice um, the Ram bar, yeah, it's it's useful. I'm not sure if this uh, this gill is functional. It does look like look like it is, considering it has the um, 6.2 liter V8 inside of it. Okay. So the the look of the vehicle is is quite nice, uh, but you have to say to yourself. Of course, if, if you're if you're an enthusiast of Dodge Ram trucks and you want the best, this is the best. However, they have other options. They have the Ram Rebel, they have the Power Wagon, um, which are not as fast, of course, but they're four-wheel drive vehicles. They do the job. They have the rumble of the V8 without the speed. Now, if you're looking for speed, I would say just go for a Cybertruck, but if you're looking for style, this is a very, very, very cool truck to get. Um, it's very, very cool. Uh, but for me, uh, I would say that the Cybertruck is is really is really where it's at. I, I mean, the thing I like about Cybertruck is the um, this angle, this this angle right here, this this right here, kind of gives that Lamborghini look, that feel of a of a um, I think it's a Lamborghini Urus. If you look at it from the side, has this this angular this angular style to it. I like that. This 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 back end from the back. Um, I like these lights, these tail lights. They look very cool. And these these um, what do you call these arches right here? From up top, I like the way it looks. I like the way it has the um, the black, the uh, what do you call these these these? These right here, these right here. I like I like that. Okay, so. Like when I first saw the Cybertruck, I wasn't a fan, and then it grew on me. Like most other people, it grew on me completely. The, the it, it looks nerdy, but it's a very cool type of a nerdy. Okay, it has it has a lot of thought went through this geometry project that Elon Musk created, and now we're having other trucks come out with much more powerful engines that. We we never thought that it would come out with we I mean I I knew this was I knew this TRX was going to happen, but they do have some torque technology that that starts that gives it the boost. I'm not sure if that helps with launch control. We'll have to see when uh, other other channels get the tr get their hands on this vehicle and to see. But everyone's waiting for 
other American other other American truck manufacturers to come out with more EV options for off roading because that that is the future and it's going to be very difficult to keep to keep to keep competitive with Tesla. Now, uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, ask me in the comment section below and have a fantastic day. Peace, guys. Bye.